Hey everybody, Gary with Basecamp Trading. Let's take a look at crude oil futures today. This is our 240 minute chart. Can you see that crude had been in an uptrend? The moving averages stacked to the upside, momentum to the upside, and crude had been pushing higher. But then during the London session, we left this topping tail and this bar finished in a reversal doji. This 240 minute reversal doji kicked into the downside we actually triggered this reversal doji to the downside and crude pushed lower triggering the 240 minute reversal doji had our bias to the downside in crude because we had a a bearish trigger on a 240 minute chart and then this is our 30 minute chart and you can see we were bearish on the 240 minute chart we triggered the reversal doji during the london session push down, set up a bear flag right here. It triggered to the downside, moving averages to the downside, momentum already crossed to the downside. And then crude made pretty nice push lower. Now push down back up to the 50 EMA. Again, we know that the 50 EMA is uh, very often significant support and resistance. And then it left that topping tail and pushed on lower. Came down to the 200 EMA, found support. We had hit significantly undervalued three bars in a row. And then crude pulled back and then started consolidate. Again, when you hit significantly undervalued, there's usually one of three things are going to happen. You're going to pull back, consolidate, or reverse. Typically, you'll pull back and consolidate. And that's exactly what we did. Pulled back, set up a couple bear flags. This first one did not trigger. Second one ended up triggering to the downside, and then crude made a big rip lower. Now, I think there might have been some kind of a news release. I never did see it, but crude, once it triggered that 30-minute bear flag, it just ripped to the downside, got way, way undervalued, and then left this big bottoming tail. This is what that looked like on the Renko chart. Again, this morning, this is where the first bear flag had triggered in and we caught a couple short trades to the downside. And then right in here is where we went into that consolidation. And you can see we had well-defined support right here at this power line. And that was at um, 65.72. We had resistance up here at this previous high, 66.03. Now we actually had a false breakout to the upside. But again, our 30 minute chart was bearish, moving averages to the downside, momentum to the downside. So anything long in crude was going to be counter trend. So we had a little false breakout. We pulled back down, had kind of a sloppy trend reversal breakout here, and then triggered the compression break. And again, crude had been in this range at this power line here and this power line here for a couple of hours straight. Triggered the trend reversal breakout, broke underneath compression, triggered the 30 minute bear flag. And again, I think there was some kind of a news event that caused that to rip down, but that ripped down for a quick thousand dollars per contract on that compression break. We hit significantly undervalued, pulled back, and crude actually ripped a little bit lower after that, and now it's pulling way back again. Again, I think it was some kind of a knee-jerk reaction to some kind of a news event that sent that diving. But that's okay. You know, we had the setup. You have your resting order sitting underneath the compression break. We had a bearish 30-minute chart waiting for the bear flag to trigger. As the bear flag was triggering, you're also triggering the break of compression to the downside. For those of you who trade time charts, you had the similar setup on your two minute chart. You can see same thing. You had this power line at 65.72 on the downside, 66.03. Little false breakout to the upside there. And then on the two minute chart, you tr triggered a trend reversal breakout to the downside. See how you had a higher high, a pivot, and then a lower high. You broke out of compression, to the downside again a nice rip lower again opportunity to grab at least a thousand dollars per contract on the two minute compression break so a couple different ways to take advantage of a compression break in crude today